You were saying the other day that the push is always on to improve, winning streak or not. So what, uh, what's maybe an area to where the coach would like to see the you know, things move forward a little bit? Um, probably as coaches usually find as um, defensive details. Um, you know, I think we've been giving up more chances off the rush than we'd like to. I know that was a point of emphasis when I first got here. And we probably slipped a little bit in that area. Just, um, you know, typically five on five goals are about probably 45% of the goals um, come off uh, line rush goal or scored. Uh, so we just have to tighten that up. And that's usually either D pinching when they shouldn't or forwards not back checking. But uh, probably that's the area that we'd like to tighten up. There's a lot of most of your games. You've you've had a lot, a fair amount of shots on goal and a fair amount of chances. Can you maybe just touch on some of the relentlessness we've seen from the lines, not just when they get in on the rush, but then creating second chances and, and recovering pucks? Yeah, no, I like how we are creating offense, and obviously you got uh, some of the best offensive players in the league. You're going to see that, and you know, obviously with McDavid, Drysaddle, and other players, you're going to see that. But I like. All, all four lines have been uh, contributing. Um, I think one thing we have to balance is puck protection, not throwing away pucks, not hope plays into the slot because that's usually just feeding the other team's transition. I think we've been done a really good job of balancing that on, you know, if there's a play to be made, then we've been trying those. But um, if it's not, I think we've done a good job of holding it and looking for a better opportunity. Chris, where are you at with uh, Connor Brown, of course, as you know? Played with Ottawa. Uh, I know it's, I sense that it's got to be a little bit frustrating with him in terms of the offense, but what are you seeing in his game right now? Well, I think uh, we can kind of look back at um, the way McLeod's season started, where, you know, I think he was doing a lot of good things and just not being able to score. And I think the last few weeks, um, with his ice time, he's been creating as many chances as a lot of other players, uh, doing a lot of good things. And, um, you know, I think it's very unfortunate, very unlucky that he hasn't scored and put up more points than he has. But, you know, for chances created per ice time, I think he's doing very well in that area. Um, also, you have to look at the other contributions that he's making to our team on um, his defensive play and his defensive play five on five, but mostly on the penalty kill. He's been outstanding on the penalty kill. So, yeah, we're. A little disappointed that the offense isn't there, but it's only a matter of time that it's going to come. And he's been helping our team a lot, so yeah, I think it'll it'll come. Chris, what's your job in that scenario to make sure that he doesn't lose his confidence and he continues to do those right things? I'll just emphasis on um, the process and not looking at the results of the scoring stats on. You know where he is and how many goals he's got and assists and that thing. Um, I like his play, and it's only a matter of fact or a matter of time before he just breaks through and gets a lucky bounce and maybe a goal comes off his shin pads or those kind of activities that are going to happen. But uh, right now he's helping our team win. He's playing well, and um, that's that's all we want to see right now. What are you seeing in Evander Kane as he's? Whether it's trying to find it a little bit, or what have you seen from him? I'm um, just trying to find chemistry with the line mates. Obviously, um, him and Leon played together for a while, and then we switched that up a little bit. And um, you know, McLeod and Fogel have really found their game playing with Leon. And right now, I think Evander just trying to find his his game with um, some new line mates. Um, you know, I think lately they've been playing really well, and maybe they haven't got as many goals as they'd like to have. But, um, you know, I feel it's coming. He's used to, you know, being a top six forward, I would say, and playing a certain number of minutes. He did play a pretty good number of even strength minutes last game. Is it important to continue to try and get him those minutes that he's accustomed to? Um, yeah, it's, you know, a player like that, it's good to have offenses on draws and, um, you know, creating some offense in those situations. Um, but with our team, we also have some other lines that are pretty good in those situations with uh, Drysdale and McDavid. So, you know, it's tough to put those players in those those um, situations that they're going to excel when we've got so many. But, you know, it's only a matter of time before our lines get mixed up again and he's playing with somebody else, whether it's McDavid or Dreisaitl. But um, right now, obviously, we talked yesterday about not changing the lineup too much when we don't have to. And right now we've obviously won six in a row and we'll 
continue going that way for until we need to make a switch.